Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Uh, today is possibly the fastest video request I have ever done. On your screen right now, hopefully, is what the final chocolate carrot cake will look like. Uh, obviously, I'm just about to make it. I've never made one before, and I'm very excited indeed. So last night, it was a bit windy. Uh, I had a very restless night's sleep. 3 a.m., I woke up, and I just started reading my emails. And I had one from uh, Aaron Hastings. Hey, Barry, would you or Mrs. Barry be interested in making a chocolate-topped Brazilian carrot cake? My Brazilian friends have changed my life with this one. I never want to see a regular carrot cake again. Now that's a pretty bold statement. Uh, there is a phenomenal recipe for a carrot cake. Uh, I'll probably put the link up here and in the description too. So if it's better than that, I'm going to love it. And it's chocolate topped. So we're going to go for this. If you're not already on the website, uh, where there'll be a full write up in the ingredients and the method, uh, head on over. If not, if you are, let's crack on. We're going to chuck most of the ingredients in a blender. I'm excited. First step is going to feel a little bit like we're doing carrot bacon again, which let's just say was a teeny bit controversial the other week. Um, I have been told though, if you uh, put slightly less maple syrup in it and the liquid smoke from the person that actually created the original recipe, it will taste just like it. But I thought it was a pretty cool snack anyway, but some of you are like, oh, it's bacon, which is, uh, you know, that was funny in 2014. So just topping and tailing the carrots and peeling them. A lot of people rave about leaving the skin on carrots, so I don't know why, is that if that's more nutritious or something like that? If actually anyone does know the answer to that, I would love to know. Right, there we go. And these are just gonna get uh, blended up. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of help by slicing it into coin sizes. And it's really gonna test my blender, actually. I'm a little bit skeptical whether it will blend it up, we'll see. Chopping carrots again. It feels like I'm making roast dinner. I made an epic pork roast dinner yesterday. Um, I'm thinking of actually doing a roast dinner playlist on the channel, by the way. Like maybe pork, chicken, beef, lamb, veggie options, something like that. Even turkey. So we've got like six in a playlist. Carrots are done anyway. Morning, guys. Hello, Amy. Boston is just knackered. I took him for a really long walk. But Amy's... You still got energy, mate? No, you're using Boston as a rest. So what's going to happen now is we use a big food processor blendy thing. Uh, and just make our batter. Batter up. Well, we put nearly all the ingredients in. Um, we add the flour and baking powder a little later on. So this is some vegetable oil. Sugar. Now that is 400 grams of sugar. That's a lot. Four eggs. One, two, ish. Three, four. Now I intentionally tried to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger then. Was it from Kindergarten Cop? One, two, three, four. Just put your eggs in. That looks like a weird fish tank. So here's the thing we do. We, uh, we're gonna blend this up. We're supposed to add the carrots in, but first of all, I kind of want to dissolve the sugar, okay? Just a bit, a bit more thinner. All right, let's do this. Let's turn it on. <laughs> now let's do it. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I'm missing my attachment. Sorry guys, hang on. Sorry about this. That goes in there. Ah, there we go. I think. There you go. Like a glove. Whew. Let's try it now. Awesome. That's dissolved that beautifully. Now this is the worrying thing. I'm gonna stick my carrots in. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna maybe do it in like maybe quarters. definitely doing it. So I'm just going to keep adding in my carrots, still in quarters, I'm not going to get too overconfident. It's definitely doing it, but I don't know if you can see, I'm not quite happy because it, it's slicing them, they're fine. They, don't get me wrong, they're much more sliced than they were, but I want it smooth, so we'll move on to another machine after this little step. Yeah, that ain't chopping it up anymore, so let's do this. Whew. Sorry. We're going to use an actual blender. Oh, I think I filled up too much. I'm going to do it in two batches. That is much, much smoother. So I pour it into another jug and blend up my other half, all right? Camera's not showing it too well, but the difference in colour between the blended up stuff and that, that is much paler. So, uh, whiz again. Yes. Much, much better. So next we pour, oh yeah. 
that very liquidy mixture in there. It is kind of like a carrot smoothie you get from one of those health shake places. A uh, teaspoon of baking powder. And then this is 300 grams of plain flour, all purpose flour. And I'm just gonna use the spatula that I used earlier to help scrape down the sides, make sure my carrot's getting blended up, just to lift and fold this through and incorporate it in and ideally thicken it up. I love this feeling. It's kind of like making cement, but in the food world. So just, oh no, not again. Oh. Handles always fall off this thing. So really scraping down, making sure there's no flour hiding out in the bottom, getting it all mixed through. And of course the bacon powder, well pushed through there as well to give it a nice even rise. I think that is our batter all done. So this is a loose bottom square tin that I'm just greasing uh, the bottoms and the sides. I've got this thing now where I try and use a loose bottom tin like as much as possible just for just for getting it out of the oven and once it's cooked just making it so much easier to lift. And we now just take a bit of uh, flour. So this is a tablespoon at the moment so maybe just a little bit more than that. What we'll do actually is we'll give it a little shaky shake and hopefully the butter will grip the rest of it. Ugh bit noisy there we go nice and antiqued and then we pour oh my gosh that looks amazing pour the batter in there my carrot cake normally has like a grated carrot in it so this is like discreet carrot it's hidden that looks blooming good in that goes we're baking it for 40 minutes okay i feel like i'm conducting things on an airplane just for reference, I'm actually putting my timer on for 35 minutes and I'm gonna check it there. Um, I did this on the last video, I was like, yeah, I'm just putting it in the microwave um, on blast, but I'll let you know how long. And then I forgot, and loads of you guys reminded me about that. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna 35 minutes and it should be nice and springy. We're gonna let it cool down. Let me make the chocolate topping. That's it. I've got a fair bit of stuff to tidy up though. Made a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna wash up. Yeah. All right, I'm ready to get this out of the oven. It's nice and golden. Uh, and also I'll just put a skewer through and it comes out clean. Cha -ching. Hey, 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 there it is. Look at that, that's looking awesome. So now I'm gonna let it cool down on the tin just slightly and then I can take it out and let it cool fully on a wire rack. While that's happening, we can make our chocolate topping. There we go. So I've just uh, let that cool down a little bit and then transferred it to a wire rack. So it needs to be fully cool for our uh, chocolate topping to go on, which we need to make and then cool anyway. So we'll leave this as it is and uh, let's make this sauce. So for the topping, it is milk, 250 mils of that, chocolate, tablespoon of butter, and then two tablespoons of honey. And all we do, put it on a flame, like a medium heat, and we'll keep stirring it as it melts through. So we're gonna break it all down, melt the chocolate with the butter, the honey, and the milk. Looks like a lot of fun in there, to be honest. I'm well jealous, but we're actually gonna bring it up to just a very steady simmer. Gonna do my Steve Irwin impression now, folks. Get a load of this beauty, crocky, danger. All the chocolate is like breaking down, the butter's just finishing off. Oh, chocolate lake. So it's all um, sort of broken down now. And that on its own would make an absolutely delicious hot chocolate. But we are just waiting for it to come up to a simmer. I'm loving these sort of like waves and marbly effect going on in the pan. It's looking very thin. I'm finding that really, really mesmerizing. <laughs> Oh, it's a little heart, look at that. Look at this therapeutic site. It's bubbling away, looking, I mean, folks, this isn't a topping, right? This is hot chocolate, like I say. I'm loving it though. It's bubbling uh, by doing it like this. Apparently after five minutes, it should thicken up and make a lovely little topping for the cake. So I went for milk chocolate. Um, I'm not sure whether we should have done dark or whatever, but either way, I've had a little taste of this. It is phenomenal. Alrighty then folks, um, I've just had another little check and it is supposed to be relatively runny anyway, kind of like a hot chocolate topping, more like that than a frosting. You can sort of pour it on. So we just keep mixing it. I've, I've actually simmered mine for nearly 10 minutes and it should be five, but um, taking this off the heat now, we let it cool a little bit and then we drench it on top. So I think just for peace of mind, I'm gonna actually sit this in a baking tin so that if when we pour stuff on it, it's gonna catch it and not go all over my countertop. Yeah, nothing too crazy, just kind of like a, like a protection thing. So the chocolate will sit on it, hopefully, and then anything will be caught on the sides. All right then, folks, let's do this. The cake is nice and cooled. I've also put uh, the chocolate sauce into a jug, and I am just gonna pour it 
Oh my gosh. Into the middle. I'm gonna just leave it there, let it do its thing. It's kind of fine in its way anyway. It has thickened up considerably, but I'm just trying to push it so it covers every top of this cake. Oh man. This is really cool. All right, a little bit more. It is like pouring a slightly thickened hot chocolate on top of a cake. Uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to let it run down the outsides. Pictures I've seen have normally had like the square, so it's like you've got a nice clean cut on it, but I think that's the inner cuts, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna make sure I've got the top covered. And that is it. I'm loving the shiny uh, reflection on the top. It kind of looks like a mirror cake. I've got it all nice and coated. I'm just gonna let it kind of settle for a couple of minutes. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. That was the look I was seeing online. With that lovely chocolate topping. Oh, yes. And there we go. So, uh, we just go straight through it. It's hard to remember that this is actually a carrot cake. I guess that's kind of like the secret to it as well. Yeah, you just kind of feel like it's a, a vanilla-y sponge with just chocolate on it, but it's not. Let's have a go. Oh my word. I'm not getting hardly any carrot at all, but what I'm getting is this really dense, sort of moist, almost slightly caramelly sponge, but with this hot chocolate sauce on top. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna have another bit. Just wanna make sure there's definitely, I can see very small specks of carrot in it, but it is out of this world. Oh, I'm so glad I tried this recipe. I'm so glad I didn't sleep last night. So uh, there we go. Thank you, Aaron Hastings, who has actually joined the making of this video, emailed me back saying cheers in the hope that he thinks that I will make it someday. But surprise, I've made it straight away. So if you do try this recipe, uh, send me a picture and tag me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen. I love to see your pictures and your attempts. That's why I do this. Uh, remember to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. Oh, and don't forget to check out the My Virgin Kitchen podcast. It's a free podcast up every Sunday. Lots of banter. See you next time. Shabba dabba ding dong. Naughty.